On today's menu, a recipe so easy to make, you'll be a really fun guy to be around. Mixed mushroom, fried rice. Hey Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Mushrooms are one of my favorite ingredients and fried rice is one of my favorite dishes. Put them both together, it's gonna be epic. So I have about 250 grams of kind of a mushroom mix that I have here, just mushrooms that I have in the fridge. But of course you can use whatever mushrooms that you'd like. And I have these sort of seafood mushrooms, of course, my cremini mushrooms that I really like, and one of my favorites, the amazing, delicious oyster mushrooms. Slice the cremini mushrooms. Chop down the seafood and oyster mushrooms. Set the mushrooms aside. Three sticks green onion, finely chopped. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Mushrooms. Saute the mushrooms dry for five to eight minutes. Sauteing the mushrooms dry will really bring out that delicious earthiness. Three tablespoons olive oil. Green onion. One and a half cups leftover rice. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Saute for another two to three minutes and you're done. plate. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. You can now make this delicious mixed mushroom fried rice with absolute confidence. Like I said, the two best things put together, mushrooms and fried rice. That is incredibly tasty. Man, that is so amazing. What a treat. You have the incredible, delicious earthiness from the mushrooms. And because we sauteed that dry first, we kind of caramelize the mushrooms and really brings out that extra nuttiness. When we add the oil, then we start frying it. And then we add the green onions and the green onions further flavors that oil and just really works really, really well all together in perfect harmony. It's so incredibly delicious. And of course, you have the, the fried rice uh, sort of taste from sauteing the rice in the pan and the extra little bit of the sesame seeds adds a little bit of that sesame flavor, just really kind of like the icing on top. Man, that is so, so delicious. And of course, you can use whatever mushroom mix you like and 
make it something different every time and have a little bit of a different flavor, different texture. Of course, if you'd like to add some extra veggies in there, some broccoli or some chickpeas or some edamame beans or corn, you could really substantiate this and make this into an incredible, delicious filling meal. Just that earthiness alone is so incredibly delicious. And of course the rice just absorbs all the, the flavor, all the juices that kind of come out of the, the mushrooms. Really, really delicious and seriously just simple, humble, and phenomenal in flavor. That really is too easy not to make incredible. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you love recipes like this, then definitely check out the link in the description box below to pick up your free ebook or watch the entire first class of the plant-based sushi making masterclass. And that is a five class series designed and curated to help you make delicious and stunning sushi right at home. That is the masterclass you'll really eat up. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.